What's going on everyone? Jeremy here from The Quarter. I'm going to have probably a four or five video day for you all today. So strap in if you need a little distraction from everything going on uh, out there. Not that uh, it's easy, but um, as I've often said before, uh, I keep that kind of stuff off the main. I understand my role here. I am a hot dog vendor. I'm here to sell hot dogs. I'm not here to uh, get overly uh, political. And, uh, it, you know, I do have Midwestly, which is my second channel where I do post stuff like that. But if you're waiting for any kind of, you know, commentary on uh, everything going on right now, it's going to be only in passing. Uh, now, this is an issue that is uh, I've brought up twice now. And actually, both times I thought for sure the video would have been way more popular than it was. Both times I talked about it, no one cared. And uh, it's only getting worse now. I've reached out directly to Team YouTube. Team YouTube says that uh, they're working on it, but yet I'm not seeing any changes. And this is very frustrating now because someone is impersonating me and uh, using my information to strike down videos. Uh, this is obviously uh, a major offense if I find out uh, exactly who this person is, which I think I might, I will be, uh, exploring, um, legal remedies to this because this is a major, major breach and, uh, obviously a huge potential, uh, reputation hit. Uh, now I've been covering mammalogy 101. Uh, him and I cover similar topics. <coughs> I enjoy his channel a lot. It's a lot of bite-sized, um, uh, topics similar to what I cover, but not always the same thing. So uh, it's it's good to watch. And he's been basically under attack now. Uh, this is the fourth strike he's gotten. The second one was removed because he won. And I have three strikes again and lost my ability to upload. The guy continues to hit me with false copyright strikes. He is relentless. Team YouTube, he doesn't own any of these assets on the videos. Again, this highlights how broken the DMCA system is. I'm here, I have 700,000 subscribers. I'm telling Team YouTube to DM me. I, in my last video, I said, please DM me. I followed their account. I have all of this guy's information. I know exactly how he's doing it. Nothing. I can't get a response. And I don't wanna hear about everyone's working from home and they're busy. That's BS. You're YouTube, okay? You have if anything, one of the easiest jobs to work remotely. You're not out there laying bricks. You are a technology company. I don't want to hear it anymore. I didn't want to hear it in the first place when you said, oh, mo everything going on right now, please be patient with us. Bull, small businesses in my little town moved smoothly to working remotely, and most of these dudes still have flip phones, all right? I don't want to hear that from YouTube anymore. And now that this person is using my information because I continue to cover it, let me be very clear. There are huge YouTubers that are being affected by this, but they're too afraid to speak out about it. Why? Because the system's broken and they know that YouTube can't fix it. I was going to cover this. I covered this with names of other YouTubers and they immediately reached out to me and asked me to take their name out of the title because they're afraid. Is that, is that what you want? on your platform, YouTube, you want YouTubers to be afraid. That's how broken the system is. To be very clear, it's very, very easy. This person just uses whatever information they want. They file a DMCA uh, takedown notice of a video, channel gets a strike. Easy peasy, lemon squeezy, because the DMCA system is broke. For years, it's been being uh, uh, abused by companies like Warner Chapel Hill and other mega corporations to sieve money off hardworking YouTubers uh, using their automated tools. But now it's being used as a tool uh, by uh, trolls to mess with the livelihoods. You know, Mimology uses his money to pay and support his family. Now he can't upload. Therefore, he can't support his family. I don't know what else to do but ask my viewers to mobilize and share this video and tag in Team YouTube because, I mean, if I have channels with over a million subscribers telling me that they're afraid to bring this up, what do you want, Team YouTube? You say you're worried about the safety of everybody, and I know there's a lot more important things going on right now, okay? But what? do you? Am I supposed to just cover 
that because and just ignore all this other stuff because you know that's more important now is that is that what i'm supposed to do i i don't i don't understand this is the third time and every time i cover it my name gets more and more likely to be damaged now this person's using uh my information apparently to uh strike down videos uh you can see here this person has impersonated the quarter and ghost grow score dsp gaming kyle jackson mammalogy 101 mr btfo keemstar three chain links and many more and more that i can't even mention because they're afraid they're afraid of this i mean like are you kidding me youtube how hard would it be to add a a secondary layer of protection to your dmca manual dmcas seriously there is absolutely no reason that it should be this easy to issue a copyright strike to somebody uh to just oh i'm just gonna put in some fake information say i own it and then let stuff get struck down and then the system automated you know the automated system because youtube wants to be so hands-off here's what happens they issue the strike you appeal they say i'm going to uphold this content and then what do you have to do then you have to give them your personal information your full email address your address and so forth just to issue a county counterclaim i had an issue yesterday that would have blown your mind and i didn't make a video about it i had my old network my old old network on my old unseen media channel issued me a copyright takedown request for my own my own video, my own freaking video, to which I counterclaimed, to which they rejected. So I almost had a copyright strike on my own channel, but luckily I had their email address buried in my inbox somewhere. And I emailed them and I said, what the H are you doing? This is like a video that's two years old. Uh, and I re-uploaded it on my quartering channel years ago. Then randomly yesterday, you want you want to take the money from it and then you want to strike it down. This shouldn't be that easy. It shouldn't be this easy to mess with other people's livelihoods, YouTube. I don't understand why it is. Well, I know why, because you want to keep your hands off. You want to say, well, you know, we we know you're probably right, but we can't step in unless you're Susie Lou, apparently, then they'll step in and protect you. And, and all day, all information points to it being this person here who has said, who wants to get flagged and tagged me in on May 27th. Why didn't I report it then? Because I know it works because I know it freaking works. So I'm going to upload this video and then I'm probably going to get some sort of strike influx. Thanks, YouTube. I have to put my channel and my family on the line to report this. Apparently, this is some sort of screenshot of some sort of software. I don't know if it's just if it's real or not. Flagbot 1.0. It, it automatically flags videos, flag comments, and he's got John Swan to, in here. And you see, wow, you're really on that clout chase. Hmm? Can you guys do a shed of light? He's responsible for terminating Mimology channel. I'm the only one covering it. Everybody's afraid to. That doesn't make me a hero. That probably makes me an idiot because I'm going to get my channel even further targeted because this happened right after I reported on it last time. He wasn't including me in it before. Now I'm included. I mean, and people are asking me to do something. Please, you do something to me. This tool looks a lot like the one above. So doubt the guy even created the tool. Has no idea what he's doing since proxies don't hide his info. Most likely he will face jail time. I hope so. I mean, from what I understand, we know this guy's information. Team YouTube, I will share it with you. I'm not going to put it out there publicly, but I will share it with you. Here you have Mimology here. This rat is taking down videos on my DSP edits channel now too. So the sec he's going after his second channel. Why? Just because. Just because he can. You know, why not? Why, why not just use the broken YouTube system because you can and, and put all these channels. And by the way, apparently they're, they're also doing it on Twitter. Uh, they did it to several of my friends on Twitter who are too. And I'm not going to, I understand why they're afraid. I do. But I mean, I am too. I definitely am too. But if I'm not going to cover it, who's going to cover it? And it's just going to go on forever. It's, it's like any bully. 
They only stop when you stand up to them. So please get this video out there. I hope you enjoy. I hope you well were entertained or informed by it. I've got a lot more videos coming today, so make sure to check back often. We'll talk to you again real soon.